All right, yo guys, Lee Nice from Yofa here, and welcome back to another video. Hope you all had a good Christmas. Uh, it's 2018 now, obviously, and um, I'm back on the channel. I have stopped streaming, and the videos I'm going to be doing from now on is completely different. So the whole channel's basically, basically changing. So basically, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be commenting on things on YouTube. Not anything in particular, just whatever I feel like commenting on, to be honest. You could also suggest videos in the comments for me to comment on, I guess, that would be, yeah. So literally, videos from now on would be me showing you clips of different videos and me commenting on them, and that's, that's, that, that's, <laughs> that's basically it. There'll also be some gameplay in the background, which there is right now, uh, me playing Cluster Truck. But yeah, I'm sorry, I know this is a very big change from what we normally do. I'm sorry to everyone that watched us previously that doesn't like this change, but... It, it's it's happening. I'm I'm sorry. It's it's it's, it's happening. All right. So today's video, we're going to be looking at some videos from this morning, which is a British television program. Uh, they've got a YouTube channel as well, which has all the clips from there. And there's some there's some questionable ones. Let's just let's just say that we we're going to be having a look at them today. Now, before I mention this, I think I have to mention about Logan Paul because literally the whole entire flipping universe is talking about this guy right now. Uh, if you don't know what he did, basically he basically recorded a dead guy in a suicide forest, and everyone's just having a fit about it, which is which is well, I don't know what else he would expect to be honest. Uh, He's an idiot. He deserves all the hate he gets. That that's basically all to, all to say on it. Like it's it's not the fact that he went into the suicide forest because I I get that. I get that you go into a suicide forest. You're doing a video for like the haunted aspect. I get all of that. It's the fact that he recorded the dead guy, started laughing about it. That's just that's just that's just no. And and then he went on to edit it. As if it wasn't bad already, recording it and laughing about it. He goes on to edit the whole video, puts the, the guy in the thumbnail, and only blows out his face. I mean, Jesus Christ. Just watch Deji's videos on it if you want any more talk about that, because that's, that's all you need to do. Just look at Deji's videos of it. Anyway, moving back to the topic that this video is actually supposed to be about. Um, we're going to start off with my favourite video from this morning, which is... Holly and Philip meet Samantha the sex robot, and the thumbnail just explains it all, really. Just, just, just that. We, we've, a, we've actually we've turned her off. Yes. Um, yeah. So that she doesn't come out with anything. Um, in of, course. Uh, in of course. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. Um, why? 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 Why is this necessary? Why is it necessary? Well, we believe as a company, St. Amateur. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's just, why is he touching a knee? That's really uncomfortable. Like, does anyone else not find this? Supplements to help people, and I believe it, it can do that. I think it can help people enhance their relationship. What does she do? Help people enhance their relationship. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> so, obviously, I think she's very beautiful. Would you agree she's beautiful? No. She's no. a doll. She's a doll. I mean... <laughs> no. Look, look, at, look at her. That, that's not beautiful. Oh, my God. Like human skin to the touch. I don't know how much you know about sex dolls, but not if much. you look not much, maybe not much. Okay, I'll, exp I'll explain. I don't know how much you know about sex dolls. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I am sorry, lad. One colour. So the texture. If you look at the texture on on Samantha, you can see it's actually like real skin. It's not. There's, it's ingrained with the different textures. <laughs> I mean, her hand is literally just wobbling. It doesn't look at all real. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's just horrific, isn't it? But was cold. Yeah. It was, she was like a corpse. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, the reason that we don't heat her up, it, it, it can be done. It could be heated up, but she runs on uh, a 12-volt battery pack. You see, I, I, I love how they've tried... <laughs> they've tried to make it so Samantha's hand is on his knee. And it's just it's just levitating above it. It's not like it's not even touching his knee. Well, I had two children myself, and they actually this, she's got Smith has a family mode, which oh, no, it's, in, it's impossible. She what she's going to read the kids a bedtime story? Right, so let me get this. Oh, she's got a family mode. Oh my god. Right. So, what if you, what if you know you, the children just get home from school and you just you've forgotten to turn it onto family mode? <laughs> that, that won't that that won't be good, will it? I highly doubt the people are gonna around their children. Okay, uh, why would you even have this if you have children? Like, please explain to me. But but anyway, 
I doubt people would be able to have it in family mode every time their children is around, and then in whatever the hell the other mode is, whenever they're not. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just not gonna work. My children, they say, where's Samantha so she can be at home? No, no, you're ch there's no way his children ask <laughs> ask where Samantha is. <laughs> let's let's be honest. She can be at home. You just ask her, for example, tell me something about how old are your children. And she will. At some point, they're gonna know. I mean, how old are they? They're young. Uh, they're five and three. <sighs> they're three and five years old. They're three and five years old around Samantha. That's oh, I'm actually done with this. I mean, fair enough if you're uh, somehow using this thing. To build your relationship, like I kind of get that, but are you though? That's that's the real question. Within your relationship with your with your wife, who's on the other side of the who's studio? Here, you incorporate her into your lovemaking. You happy with this? Yes, I am. Totally happy with yes. having Samantha on your sofa with your kids around. Yes, completely. Like, look what's happening here. Samantha the sex doll has got her hand levitating above his knee while you're sat at the other side of the room just saying you've got no problem just staring at them. I mean, what is going on? Oh, no, not at all. She just uh, someone there, you know, as a, like a family member. Why didn't you... Uh, oh, he's off. Oh, please, like, his, his wife's speaking and he's got his hand on her knee. Like, let's just have a little bit of respect, can we please? Well, I mean, that that was something, wasn't it? Let that... that Right, we're going to move on to the next one, which is I had 200 procedures and six ribs removed to look like Wonder Woman. Right, let's just let's just get to it. The shape of your body is is just so extreme. I mean, teeny teeny tiny ways, big boobs. Um, what? Why? Why? What made you want to have this physique? I want to look like a cartoon. No, I don't. What? Always being very artistic. Um, as a, as a child, I always used to draw and paint, and I was kind of like living in my own little fantasy world. I mean, I haven't seen Wonder Woman. Let me just type this up now, but I, I remember seeing like the film advertised, and I don't remember her looking anything like that at all, to be honest. The, the, the most extreme of the surgeries, would I be right in saying, would be to achieve that teeny tiny waist that you've got. Yes. Um, and in order to achieve that, you've had six ribs removed. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to criticise like these people. Like they can, they can do what they want. It's their life. Like, but just why? Why would you have six ribs removed? Oh. Right, you know what? That that's enough of that. I'm I'm moving on to the next video. Right. Hi, beautifuls. So. Um, no, I started my journey on not wanting to have any sort of label to be male or female. I just felt very androgynous and just didn't like people labeling me. Right, that, that, that's enough of that. Let's move on to the last video. Meet Phoebe, the dead stuffed dog that went viral. She's actually a very, very caring and loving. But don't. But I think the oh, eyes are very good. I think very, very <laughs> real. And almost the nose looks wet. Oh, it's just this. Oh, I like. I know people have the different opinions about this, but it just makes me feel like really uncomfortable. It makes me feel as if I've just seen like a dead person. I'm not trying to compare to Logan Paul in any way, by the way. To just try to trust me on that. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave that video there. I do hope everyone has enjoyed. If you do want anything that you want me to watch, comment on all of that stuff, just pop it in the comments. Um, and if I do feel as if it is good enough to do a video on, then I will do it. If not, I might just like include it at the start of the video just for a tiny bit and then move on to an actual topic that I want to speak about. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I know that it's a big change on the channel, but that is what we're going to be doing from now on and I'm going to try and keep these videos short or let well not short but you know less than 10 minutes um but yeah thank you everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video see you later guys peace